Hey, what's up y'all? So today I'm back for a different video. This time I'm gonna be doing a product review. I had the pleasure of partnering with Wakanica Coffee Company. And let me show you guys what I got. So we got these three, and then we got a big old baby right here. So this one is Costa Rica Pea Berry, and it's a medium roast. And then, we have Costa Rica Natural Process Medium Slash Light Roast, as well as the Mocha Java and the Colombian Sup Supremo. I was about to say Superior. So we're gonna be doing a taste testing real quick. Um, I don't really drink coffee very often, but I figured this would be a good way for me to dive in it a little bit more and see what type of flavors I like. So we're gonna go through the process. And with all of these, they actually give like the beans. So I'm gonna have to grind them up. And then, you know, we'll do a little taste testing real quick. Um, co with Volcanica Coffee Company, they actually have over 150 flavors. So we only tasted four today, but we're gonna be tasting. Okay, you guys, so like I said, they give us the beans. So as you can see, look at it. And it, it smells really good. Like, mm. So I'm gonna be blending some up. I'm gonna pour them in here. We're grinding, y'all know what I mean. And I'll grind up some of the other ones too. That way I can test them to see which ones I want. Okay, so these beans right here have become this. So I decided to grind them up like I said before. Um, and it's actually better for you to get the beans instead of it already ground up because they're fresher. And then you get more of the benefits whenever you grind it up personally you know, I know I keep saying grinder, but whenever you grind it up personally compared to it already being ground up and sold like in the store. So as you can see, this is ground is gonna get, and then now I'm gonna put it in the Keurig and we gonna taste this first cup of gel. Okay, so the coffee has been made and it is piping hot, piping hot. Do y'all see the steam? I don't know if you can see the steam, but it's hot. Smells really good. So I'm gonna do something that I normally don't do. I'm actually gonna try it like when it's just straight black coffee, um, no sugar or any milk or anything like that added. And then the next one, I will actually add stuff and maybe, excuse me, make like an iced coffee out of um, one of these for later on in the day. Cause it's pretty early and I'm gonna need my coffee throughout the day. So, okay, hold on. We are gonna do a little taste testing. <laughs> but it actually it tastes pretty good um and it's weird i could taste like the the berries in it so we're gonna do a little quick research to see whether what all ingredients are there. because they actually get it like I looked up some information and it said that all, like whenever they harvest the coffee beans, it's from like volcanic regions, which I guess is one reason why they decided to call themselves Volcanica Coffee Company. Um, because that's where they legit get like their beans from, which is, which is really interesting. I never really knew a lot about where coffee comes from. Like, I mean, obviously I knew it was like the beans, but I never put too much thought into it. But it says we take great care to provide you with the finest volcanic coffees from around the world, grown on coffee farms in mountain elevation, elevations above 3,000 feet, nourished by volcanic soil with cool climate and moisture from the clouds for a flavor you will never forget. And you can actually follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, but I like this, I like this Costa Rica pea berry. Uh, it's with honey, honey, lemon, and almond. So it's like, I like the fact that it, it has like natural products in it because a lot of other coffees I feel like don't really do that and they definitely don't um, think they really have like honey or lemon in it um, and you know really give you information about where they actually grow their beans from. So now, oh shoot it. So I think I'm gonna try either the Mocha Java or either the Costa Rica natural process, because with the Costa Rica natural process, it has pineapple, blackberry jam, sweet tea, and peach candy. That's interesting. 
Huh. And it has like the farms where it can't came from. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Tira, 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 tira. T I R R A. So y'all can find where it is at. Um, dang, I don't know which one to try. Well, I just tried one with the honey, lemon, and almond. So let me do the mocha java one because that one I'll probably make it into iced coffee. I feel like that might taste better. And then I'll try this one in a little bit. So. I'm gonna bust this one open and then we gonna test it real quick. Okay, so I tore this one on the side and then here's how the beans look. So next step is we will grind these up and then I will make me some iced coffee real quick. Okay, so I grinded up the mocha java one and then this is the Costa Rica pea berry one. As you guys can see, this one is a little bit darker, so I decided to move it actually into a mason jar so we can use the coffee grounds that I actually grinded up for at least like a day or two, probably just a day. But um, this is the mocha java one all ground up. So now I'm gonna make the coffee and then make some iced coffee and we'll be all set. So stay tuned. And y'all know for the iced coffee, we gotta have the glass container because I don't know why, but it's something about seeing an iced coffee like like well you know in a glass that just makes my heart just happy like i feel like i'm like sophisticated or something even if i'm making it at home <laughs> yeah yeah okay you guys so i got the costa rica pea berry in this mug and then the mocha java in this one this one is gonna end up being my iced coffee. And then this is the one that I decided to drink just straight black. So I took a little sip of the mocha java real quick. And I'm gonna take another sip while we're talking. Mm. Yeah, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's good. That's really good. I don't know, actually, I don't know if I wanna make it ice. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so I gotta admit, I like the mocha java better. And I think it's mainly because I added like some milk and some sugar. Cause I don't normally really drink coffee black at all unless Theo tries to convince me. But I do like the taste of this coffee. It's not too like strong or overbearing or anything like that. It kind of just tastes just right where I can, I have energy throughout the day. I won't feel like jittery which normally that's how I feel a lot of times whenever I drink coffee. So this is a good sign so far. Um, so I think I'm gonna start incorporating this type of, this coffee brand company into my like everyday activity or like every other day. Um, I definitely would recommend you guys taking a look at it and see whether you like, just try at least a bag to see whether you at least like it or not. And then tell me what you think. Um, I'll have a link in the description box so that way you guys can get a discount off. Once again, the company is Volcanica Coffee Company. And then this is the Costa Rica pea, I was like Costa Rica, Costa Rica pea berry. <laughs> I'm like, let me spit it out. That's the Costa Rica pea berry. I also had tried the mocha java. I'm gonna try the Costa Rica natural process, like the medium slash light roast another day. And then the Colombian Supremio another day as well. And then I'll probably tell you guys what I think about it too. But as always, I would definitely recommend you guys taking a look and testing out this company. I always like trying new companies and putting you guys onto something if it's worthwhile. So I definitely think this company is worthwhile. I like the fact that, you know, it's naturally grown and that um, they grow it in volcanic regions. They have over 150 different types of taste for their coffee. So that means you get nothing but variety. And that's one thing I love the most. I don't like just something that's just like, kind of bland and I like the fact that they have like honey and lemon and almond in their coffee like you know it's just a variety of different tastes and flavors so with that being said like comment down and subscribe like comment down below and subscribe let me know what you think if there's some companies that you want me to try out please shoot me a dm and I definitely will um this year we're going to be trying out different things and I want to introduce you guys to a lot of different companies so stay tuned and don't forget to follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I will have all that in the uh, description box down below. So I'll see you guys later. Mm. Mm. Peace.